Ahem. Ahem. Hello. Pulls out cringe gun. It shoots cringe. Points it at you. Zan, thanks for subbing. Gloomstack, congrats. Magnetos, thanks for subbing. Uh, summon Skulls, Nightshade, Meds, Rob, Kill, Fenrir. Hi, I'm so sleepy. Oro, TTV, John Boyo, TC, Sid, Vadista, Serotonin, Chippy, Zan, Magnetos, Falfarin, Dr. G. Hey, it's Taco, Stealthy, Mild, Killed Boss of VR, Bob Ross, if you it. Spirit to soap tub. Thanks for subbing. OMG, I just realized this is the cringeathon. Guys, cringeathon. It's cringeathon Thursday. Rabe Sama, Stellar Prince, Soap Tub, Spirit 2. That's right, Jay. Thanks for subbing. How do you see my shirt? No way I get through this whole game. Oh, yeah. Spooky Needle Arrows. <laughs> No way you get through Morrowind. That's true, because I won't play it. Engram Mexican, twenty-eight streams later. Poop born, nine ninety-nine sub f dat vox arrow song Zilvin spooky needle eight the news. That's right, J M C Cora squeaky pan things or something. Where the Morbius emotes? I thought the Morbius meme was like old, right? Like, people were doing it, and then they stopped for, like, a month. What's up with that? Actually, Egg, the cow milk, there's a bit. KFC made a Morbin joke, so it's back now. Oh, shit, you guys got branded, huh? That sucks. <laughs> Vesper Tide, listen, listen, guys, listen, okay? I tried to be the cutting edge of memes, Okay. I don't know if I can do Morbius jokes in good faith. Okay. <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. It's Morbin time. <laughs> Your memes are just come in Giga. Yeah, but Giga's pretty cool, right? Right? No? It's Giga time, guys. Guys, it's Giga time. I'm fucking Giga-ing. Giga Morbin time. <laughs> Enough. Poggers. Crab stove, domestic dad, dub low. Thanks for subbing. Whoa. Oh. Hedgemong, thank you for subbing. Upon the heart. Whoa. I wonder when my chair is going to break. Jenna, can't thanks for subbing. True. Big, <laughs> Big Willie twerking bowls. Thanks for subbing. Boyan, thanks for subbing. Too fat for a chair? No, I'm like leaning all the way back in it. I'm like, I'm sitting in a way that would break it. Bioshock Collection's free on Epic Game Store. Don't care. Don't care. 
don't care. Bioshock more like don't want to play it a lot. Asian Chris, Vega Delta, Jimmy the Worst has thanks for subbing. True. True. Arcalot, a smock shadow assassin zero rave some more. Borpa giggle. Sochi God sub. One day there will be more than one emote, friend. Don't worry. Nil Mo, thanks for subbing. All of my takes are part of the cringeathon too. I don't have a take. I'm about to take your mom's virginity. <laughs> I'm about to go back in time. Time travel. Fuck your mom. Become your dad. It's me. Your dad. Back in the present. I fucked your mom. Well, fuck blues. Thanks for subbing. Volatile, sorry I'm learning. Milkshake, thanks for subbing. Dragon Tongue Blur, thanks for giga subbing of hell forever. One quadrillion million. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, Link of Fee, thanks for subbing. It's number one ten. I can get it all sub. Bro. No, I'm putting my foot down. Okay. No longer will I play your game. I give up. I haven't gotten it in the last like month and a half. I quit. Uh. Half mast, will wall, lemonade complexion. Yo, just. I've been holding my prime sub and it was three. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait. Hype? I opened uh, my dashboard for a second. How, do, how does it know to post Moon 2 Pog in the banner? Digor, mm -mm -mm. thanks for subbing. I said it to that. I don't remember. <laughs> Broke my heart. Beep, 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 beep. I wonder if you can set it to GIF emotes. Hank Jansen, thanks for sub it. Star. 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 What's the song name? It's called Star. You dumb bitch. Hello, Kirsch. Looking good today. You can't even see me. Liar! Bondo, so cold. Narf, thanks for subbing. Please play Breton Boys. Don't like it. Yep. Not good. <laughs> True. Ha, 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 ha.
Omega poggers. Why? That guy thinks God's a 4D spaceship. Don't forget, guys. My soul, you broke my law. The third thief, because you stole my heart. Can you play the song Blood and Guts for my favorite anime, Berserk? Guys, I think I figured it out. After doing my own research on Berserk, and the Berserk fandom. I think Berserk fans are the worst anime fans. I said it. I said it. I think... I said it. Dude, I actually said it. And let me tell you why. Okay. Alright. Let me fucking tell you why. JoJo fans are close. They are close. Okay. The first part, and I'm going to sound like a Berserk fan myself, because I am. I am. Okay. Everything after the eclipse is a generic fantasy story. And I think that's what he was going for. I like that stuff. I do. But it's not nearly as good. <laughs> it's not nearly as good as anything I've ever heard from anyone. Anyone, dude. Um, I don't know, man. But Berserk fans are like, it's the so fucking holy grail of Mongo, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I think Berserk's really good, actually. Um, oops. That's the wrong one. There's some cool story elements that I like a lot. I like the whole concept of Griffith coming, Griffith coming back. And manipulating the whole world so that he can play, uh, put on his own play, basically. That's really cool. I like their, uh, I like the actual transition to fantasy world. And how it's like the, <laughs> like that's Armageddon for them, basically. That's cool. Um... The fucking, I mean, Vinland Saga, I never, I don't know what that is. Griffith did nothing wrong? Yeah, yes he did, motherfucker. Why do you, why do people think that is not the case? <laughs> huh? He killed hundreds of people, his friends. It's a meme? Why is it a meme? It's not funny. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Because he's so ridiculously evil. It's a derivative of Hitler did nothing wrong. Oh. Okay, it makes sense now, guys. I didn't even, I didn't even fucking think of that. Bro, I can't say shit like that. One day that will be clipped out of context. If you guys ever wonder why I only read parts of your message, it's because I'm thinking I'm like, yeah, I can't say that shit out loud. Not necessarily wrong, but out of context it would be. 
Clipped and shipped. Shut up, bitch. Poggers. Slash me deletes the clip. <laughs> Berserk is cool, though. Poggers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's a lot of part, uh, parts of Berserk that are way too fucking edgy, though. Like, really? Like, it, it's uncomfortably... It's not even good uncomfortable, oh, either. It's not. The horse? That's not the worst fucking scene, dog. That is, that's not even close to the worst one. It's like low effort, like edgy shit. That's what it was, dude. The priest torture is pretty bad. I'm talking about the moth kids, Twitch chat. That was the fucking worst. When I saw that, I actually felt physically fucking ill. I could not believe it. This motherfucker drew that and then published it and was like, yeah, I'm telling a dark fantasy story. No, motherfucker. You are not. <laughs> you are not. Doing that. Have you been watching my queen play this game? I actually did see the Pokemon I was playing this today. Um, by complete chance. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time. You know? We've waited. We've waited. Years. Okay. Now it's finally time. I mean, we talked about maybe playing this because I want to play a story game. We're talking about playing maybe Price Human, whatever, or Heavy Rain. This game, basically the same shit, so. Play Outer Wilds? No. Play Pokemon Unite? No. I don't want to play Pokemon Unite because my kid plays Pokemon Unite. I don't want to queue up against him and then smash him, you know what I'm saying? My small child plays Pokemon Unite. That's some fucking classic music, dog. The author of Berserk is a huge fan of idle anime games. I know he's dead. I know he's dead. <laughs> Sad gun. Okay. All right. Okay. Have you thought about homeschooling? Chat, I'm moving out of America, dude. I'm peacing out. I'm not trying to have my kid get mowed down at a fucking elementary school. Dude, I'm fucking... I'm actually gone! I'm actually leaving! Fucking peace out, dog! I'm gone! I'm going to Norway! I'm fucking, I'm going to Europe. I'm going to teach my son Aikido. I'm going to get Steven Seagal on the line. No one will ever stab him. 
because he'll use their momentum against him. Boom. There it is. Corby, thanks for something. I'm actually, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm fucking actually gonna leave, dude. I'm out. Dude, I'm actually gone. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking gone, dude. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Reasonable. <laughs> Understandable, sir. Have a good day. I read that even if you leave, you still have to pay U.S. taxes. What? <laughs> what? For like, what, like a couple of years or some shit? Forever. Only if I keep citizenship. Renounce your citizenship and you don't have to. Oh my god. Nah, it's probably too much of a pain in the ass to leave. Kind of wish I could, though. Bro, I'm not trying to move to a fucking... A Nordic country and have like a 70% income tax bro <laughs> bro it's like 50 oh, I know Sweden's like 65 or some shit It's not. It's 52.9%. Dodge with a company. Are you suggesting I don't pay the government? It's rightful due. <laughs> What's up, you? Pete Bago, Rincewind, King Jacks, Fugs. Thanks for subbing. Which country would you live in if you could? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So we may have a higher tax break and won't die at school worth. Bro, there's, there are, I can just not send my kid to a school, man. <laughs> I don't know where I would move. Mm -mm. Not Russia. You want a story game? You should have played Metal Gear 4. All right, hit me up with a PS3. Bro, I don't want to order a PS3 and fucking... I'm too lazy, man. One day, though. Emulation. What do you know about emulating Metal Gear Solid 4? Because I had someone reporting to me for six months about the process, the progress they were making emulating it so that it was actually a streamable uh, thing. And guess what? Last I checked, it wasn't perfect or even anywhere near perfect, motherfucker. I It's not that it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Oh. Oh. Oh, MG MGS formulation is not that hard. Okay. You know more than I do. You do. You fucking know. 
You know, dude. You know. You know. Dude, you fucking know more than me, dog. Bam, 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 bam. Is it not available on PS Shop? I don't know. I don't know. I think you can stream PS3 because it doesn't allow you to turn off HDCP. Bro, don't stop. 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 Stop it. Stop trying to. Bro, it's your HD. Just emulate it. It's easy. Just download it. Just download it. You can play it on PS now? Oh, just play it on PS now. <laughs> just, just use the 720p streaming service to fucking stream your video game in 1080p. Oh, 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 oh. You're fucking stupid. Literally in a playable state on a basic PS3. I'm like, I don't want playable, motherfucker! I don't want my game to crash ten fucking times every hour, you stupid cunt! Yeah, I know it is! I don't want weird fucking tearing on screen. The only way that I should do it is getting a PS3, getting a copy of the game, somehow, capturing it. That's, that is the only way it should be done. <laughs> That's it. Wrong? Okay, you're right. You should go to a steakhouse Twitch chat. You, you, you know what you should tell the motherfucker at the fucking four Michelin star steakhouse? Hey, let me get a side of ketchup with that shit, dog. Let me get some ketchup. Actually, you know what? Do it. Super well done, too. I want it to be charred black with ketchup. And the guy's like, bro, but if you just waited, I can make you the best steak that has ever been fucking made in a four-star Michelin restaurant ever, ever. Just waited a little bit longer. You're like, nah, I'm good, man. I think I'll just take the ketchup charred black steak, please, sir, if you don't mind. Also, with a side of baked beans. Got any baked beans? <clears throat> yes. Anything for you, sir. So I, I'm trying to have this fucking stellar experience, you know, one of the, the, be the literal best restaurants in the world. And you're telling me to eat my steak with ketchup and fucking charred black steak with baked beans, England style on the side. No. No, no, no. You know what I always wondered? Are English baked beans more sweet than regular baked beans in America? They look like they would be. Or less sweet, sorry. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Imaginarium, thanks for something. Will I play V Rising? No, I think V Rising was pretty boring. Pretty boring, lads. And I did play it. Oi, I fucking did, bruv. Even boring than this game? What? <laughs> Even boring than this game. He crawled from his cave covered in slime. The chat troglodyte with his spear fucking smashed in someone's window. He's crawling. Fucking there's a computer on in the room in the, of the house that he broke into. Fucking flops himself onto the computer chair. Twitch.tv slash moon moon. He slaps with his webbed hands. Twitch.tv slash moon moon. Oh, he's talking about video games. I know those somehow. I don't know how, but I do. Even boring more than this game. He hits enter. His troglodyte slime smeared across the keyboard. He 
He looks around. It's time to eat. Food! Hunger! Do you hear that the good news? The new RimWorld people the RimWorld people register a slot for new DLC on Steam? Cool. Finish the story. Well, he was the missing link, chat. <laughs> That's the end. He's in Area 51 right now, dude. Uh, Credx, Mike B, thanks for subbing. They got him, lol. Lol, 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 lol. Bro, I'm amped. I'm animated. <laughs> BRB, real quick, and then we start. Don't touch that mouse. Don't touch that mouse, You're guys. Watching Badlands Chugs. What's good, folks? How's everybody doing? Welcome to another day. Welcome to another episode of Badlands Chugs. And today, folks, it is Water Chug Wednesdays. Oh my gosh. If you don't know what Water Chug Wednesday is, every Wednesday I drink your favorite water beverage, okay? Whether it's sparkling or distilled, or I drink something else that's healthy, okay? And today, folks, we are chugging some bubbly, all right? Bubbly sparkling water, okay? This is blackberry bubbly, okay? It has no calories, no sweetness, and it's all smiles, just like your boy. <laughs> all right, well, I got eight of them on deck, okay? And they all pre-open, and I'm gonna see how many I can drink in one minute, just one minute of play time, one minute of chug time, all right? So we're gonna set it off with this one that's closed and I'm dedicating this chug to my nephew, DJ, all right? Hey, DJ, this is for you, all right? Your favorite drink is blackberry bubbly, so we're doing this today, okay? So enough talk. Let's get it on, folks. I'm gonna drink all eight because I don't have a timer that I can see. So, whatever it is, <laughs> stop the talking, get to the chugging, all right? Three, two, one. Blackberry flavor. Good. 
pick, DJ. You are the man. <laughs> Woo-wee. It is delicious. It is clean. <clears throat> it's burpy. <clears throat> oh, man. The Jurassic Park movie's coming out early, folks. <laughs> Woo, this was good. Nice hydration in it. I love it, all right? So that was for you, DJ, and that was for everyone, okay? So yes, Water Chuck Wednesdays, folks. Bubbly is checked off the list, okay? I see that you commented and left some awesome ideas, so I will be chopping down that list real soon, okay? So expect another water chug next Wednesday, and yo, we are out. Peace and love to all y'all. I love y'all so much, and may God bless you and everything that you do in your whole families too, okay? So Badlands Chugs, for Badlands Chugs, we are out. Peace. Oh. Chugging the world one bottle at a time. Badlands Chugs is back. Bro, I feel like I just entered a time warp. Well, I YouTube Indie American Folk Instrumental. Are you ready? to go on an adventure with me through a, a tiny little piece of touching Americana. Coming of age story. <laughs> Thirty one thirty one gigabytes for my walking sim. No fucking way. Thirty one gigabytes. <laughs> Barrow double Q Q gone thinks goon thinks for something. Zephyrum. Lotus, Just Velos, Othington, Fox, McLeod, Gaffer, Tyker, B4. Play the prologue first. What is the prologue called? Hardux, Garbage Horse, thanks for seven. Prologue these nuts. It's called... B Ignore whoever said... Wait, what's wrong with it, guys? Huh? Sega. I gotta set the download speed cap. There we go. Oh shit, it's not capping it. <laughs> they fucking changed the thing. All right, we're good. Audio going crazy. That's the video, hopefully. Smile.
hey, can you play us for my god sub? What is this? It's the FFZ catch-up thing? Oh, I don't use FFZ because uh, it's just weep shit anyway, so. Yeah, uh-huh. You see the doc trip St Stephen Curry. I don't keep up on the doc, guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm a fake fan. Blanco Liar Crazy Mike, thanks for subbing. Yep. It's the new Sniper Elite with Dark Souls style invasions. No. Sniper Elite. Which one is it? There's like 10. Five? How do they keep making Nazi games? You can invade other players' campaigns as a sniper, and they get an XP penalty if they opt out of invasions. <laughs> the new... I'm reading review. The new invasion mechanic is implemented horribly. I don't know who worked on it, but it suddenly expects you to play like you're in some battle royale arena instead of sniper elite. I was invaded in the first level, died because I tried to be aggressive, and immediately invaded again, so I decided to find a defensible location... And watch my angles of approach, you know, like a sniper in my sniping game, but was immediately penalized for camping by having my location revealed. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if there was some incentive to approach each other over time, but with the open map size, the size of some small countries, no time limit, no regular hints about where the other guy is hiding unless you use telephones, which can be booby trapped. Dealing with a single invader can take upwards of 10 minutes, and this in turn wouldn't be such a big deal either. If you didn't get XP docked for playing with invasions disabled. If Rebellion is so proud of this new feature that they'll punish you for opting out, you'd think that they'd made sure to iron out the kinks first. The game penalizes you with less XP earned for everything you do in single player if you chose not to play online with an online invasions refunded. <laughs> cool. That negative review definitely convinced me to try it. You had the opposite effect, reviewer. <laughs> Need a burrito? Thanks for subbing. John, John Sniper, dude. I think this guy's the bird man. I heard him say it 50 fucking times. Okay. Guys, don't worry. The music's coming from the game, not from the uh, no trademark American indie folk instrumental that I queued up like five minutes ago, guys. Blah, blah, blah. Blip, 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 blip. My dog's barking. Sure, it's not. I don't have any fucking. If she's barking, that's cool, man. You know, you do you, dog. I don't give a fuck, bitch. <laughs> I can't fucking believe. I can't. I cannot believe I'm about to fucking play this game. Uh, game in one million quotes. Woo! I, 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 fucking, I fucking cannot. Dude, I can't. I literally cannot. 
Usaka is thinking for something. Yeah, I read it, dude. Leave me alone. Don't care. Don't care. Subtitle size, hella large. <laughs> the remaster is worse? Good. Look, this is the vision that the devs have, okay? They, they, they were so proud of their game that they wanted to re-release it, remastered for $40. So surely this is the premiere experience that they want me to have. Life is Strange is a story based on future player choice, consequent all your actions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely, okay? Okay. Okay. It's so fucking loud, please. Storm is a metaphor for becoming a woman. Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. My fucking sensitivity is so goddamn high. Run, Billy. my mouse to look around. Thank you. Thank you. The storm is a metaphor for me relationship with me parents, bro. Holy shit. There it is. They told me I couldn't have the lava lamp from Spencer's. God damn it. Surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, fucking bitch. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Maybe Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Hello? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, <laughs> I, I could frame stupid? any one of you in a dark corner. Am I stupid? And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. <laughs> that sucks. You should have done better. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I can't believe I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. She could have taken another. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Robert I haven't Frank. kept up with my journal as much Me as I too. should. 
He captured the essence of post-war beat. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Words could dance this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. <laughs> they're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. That means this means new clothes. And if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle going to go back to Arcadia Bay. Never heard of it. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose. Uh, I can't read this shit. It is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack. Blah, blah, blah. Made me want to cry like a little girl. Never leave Seattle. Stop hacking. I have a new Max wardrobe. No one except for Chloe knows how different we are now. So come my hair. Get attached some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from P Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. Blah, 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 blah. I want things to be different at my boarding school. <clears throat> Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn the day. They started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names. Phase right. Picked up them. Uh, could I forget Victoria? She had rich style. I felt I could feel into judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. Blah, blah, blah. She has a bully. Uh, Jefferson photography class. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. I thought being 18. Oh, she's 18. Okay. Not a kid, which means this is all fair game. Woo. Yeah. I meant for bullying, not for objectifying. Danny domination. Genius at work. Because <sighs> you can't make fun of kids. You can't make you that. Is, you cannot make fun of children. But you can make fun of adults. That's just the way that it works. This is adult cringe now. Mm -mm, homework kicking my ass. My family, his family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay. The bros aren't the different. Nathan Prescott is a victorious male clone with way more money attitude if that's possible. Blah, blah, blah. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting it, and the teacher didn't say Jack had get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the uh, silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties and they get their way. With the King Queen, I do like Kate Marsh. She's down in the hall. Blah, blah, blah. I finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Blah, 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 blah. She's a photographer. Miss Grant's cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can understand. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. Blah, blah, blah. It's October now. Ray Bradbury. Halloween party. Coon. Of all the time in the world. America. And there was America. honesty about the economic conditions of the air. But take a beauty selfie. in the struggle. You don't have beauty, bro. They're beauty. gonna see you and Which hear you, dog. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's foot. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since Idiot. the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Boomer. The point remains okay, that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Narcissism? <laughs> Huh? Is it is it the the period of art where they stop drawing fruit and shit? <laughs> this is uncomfortable. Choices matter. Yeah, I, I did know, know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis oh. Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean huh? process brought out fine detail in people's faces, 
making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even... Sorry, Max. No more... What's happening? And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. This Victoria chick doesn't look like a human, guys. <laughs> Loaf TV, Brax Braxton, Game Rob, thanks for subbing. Ernie B, thanks for subbing. Cheese. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Cheese burneth the dawn. Says, hey man, be a little more serious about this game. You're, you making fun of it actually reveals your insecurities about you having soft emotions. I know deep down you actually love this game. Thanks. Okay, sorry. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? <laughs> and people laughed. Bullied. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive ever. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. What the fuck? Isn't she gonna get mad that I'm looking at her shit? This photographic world is not for everybody. Huh? This might make a cool shot. Everybody should have that chance. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Guy a pedophile? I mean, maybe she might be 18. <laughs> Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. What's wrong, man? Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, you seem quiet you seem today. Quiet today. Just thinking too much. I think Victoria has already won the contest, as usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. How about Let's now? Let's talk later, Max. Shit. Is this MySpace? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Oh. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Characters look very dead. Damn, they have That's carbon you're fiber dead on tripods the here. The ball head even has a pan lock? Nerd. God, I'm such a photo nerd. True. Hey, guys. Hi. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Can't see the option. This is ridiculous. I always <laughs> get so shy and nervous. Or Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear something.
today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. She's an anti-vaxxer, dude. Nice. My kind of girl. I yeah. remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Swanky Bigfoot, Chaquan, Orange Cookies, JD, Randy Ball, Spherical, Monaster, 830, Reservation at Doris, Exhibit. Oh, let's wash her face. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Fucking said that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. In a poop bucket? Bucket? Am I using a camera from the 80s? <laughs> Fucking why? Guess now that the shake on the Polaroid doesn't think. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Bro. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can <laughs> tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Wait, what? That. what? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Bro, how come no one told me there was a school shooting in this game, bro? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. Are we a time traveler? And then I was back here. He likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Did my camera just vomit? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her image. Of I did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Pretty sure you already know it's real, Selfie. though. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. 
Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I can't... I don't get to cheat? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Is it really cheating if you're time Let's try, traveling? Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Just rewind time! Change your answer! Like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces. Oh. Holds up hand menacingly at you. <laughs> now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Duh. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Duh. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process Bitch. made portraiture hugely popular. Is she gonna Mainly kill me now? Does she also have a gun? Features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everybody. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. Is there Good no to skip forward in time button? So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Everyday hero that has time travel power. Do I still need to... Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Can you look at me Too when you're stress. talking? I know the feeling. What? I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. So fucking excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's. Oh, you can skip it. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Good. Press control to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. This photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photo- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. <laughs> real human answer from real human girl. I Mega Carp Eagle Bars, Tickle Views, Light bathroom. and Blue, Jaren, Super please, Solid Ray, Please, please. No Bully, Thanks, Arcanos, Thank you for something, Jake. They'll think I'm crazy. Goodbye, bullied kid. Oh, Mega Carp Eagle Bars, Stop wasting time. Go. Stop wasting time. Go. Something tells me it's not a gun-free zone. Oh man. Okay, Max, retrace poop. every step. Rewind poop again. 
infinite I poop. Face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's so happening sick. again. Are people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Shit! I need to rewind and do something fast. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so nobody sick. has a gun. I should do something me. else. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would. Ever I need a hammer to break it open. I don't have a hammer, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Fuck, man, stop. Shit. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> God. Walk of people trying to control me. You are Help. going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Get Nobody the item. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho. Jesus Christ. Trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This <laughs> cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Wait, we're gonna get grounded. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Sorry, sir. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Why is he so mean? <laughs> huh? Hi. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, yes I snitched, guys. He was guys. in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. Guys, he's not gonna I'll bust him, man. Personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Too rich, Please sorry. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. 
Should I rewind and change my story? No. It's good, you man. look a little stressed out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm still gonna report him, lol. I just. <laughs> Space to go to main campus. Draska, boss, spooby, DRS cost of the so I giga reported him. The old double report. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. We gotta hide so he doesn't see us. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. Don't care. I wonder what happened to her. I bet that kid killed her. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Oh. Well, I'm kind of in a rush right now. I don't really have the time. Too bad. Serious things are taking place at Blackwell, and they affect you most of all. Come back and see me when you do have time. Promise? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know... Well, I'm kind of in a rush right now. I don't really have the time. Too bad. Hi, Max. Can you get some advice? Some some info in space. Hello. Sorry, running late. I'll meet you in a lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready to see you shortly. I hope so. Okay. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Hello? Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Hello? That's so cool. Hey, Dan. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. She's dead. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. There are official missing posters. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. I don't feel bad about letting you get him bullied now, dog. Gonna be honest. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Wait, aren't we gonna be late? 
Best portrait ever. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, man. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Wrong, man. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. That won't have consequences? <laughs> Wait a second. Clever. Uh... I'm glad you told me that, Max. Let's talk later. Cool? I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. The guy. Who did we talk to? Warren. This kid looks like a pretentious little fucking prick. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? I was right. Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I was right, boys. I'd be honored, sir. I bet he sucks. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Oh, I was right. You suck. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she what like? What was she like? She was like mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. That's cool, man. <laughs> Where do we meet this person? In the lot. Are we ghosting this kid? Is there a fucking map? We gotta go to the lot, bro. Two days ago, don't ignore this message. Ah! Fucking Tony Hawk, damn! Hey, man. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh, oh yeah? yeah. Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Let's get gate kept. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. 
I just can't skateboard shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? No slide. I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> it's on a rail. Hey, you're not really a skate buddy. Not really. <laughs> not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to love skating with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. Why does everyone like Rachel? She's 19, man. She clearly got held back. You knew Rachel? Twice. She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. Anybody hurt her will get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. A skate posse. Did you ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. It's an art college? I thought this was like a boarding school. Dude, there's like 20 kids here, man. Fucking own. Brook actually has a drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? No. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. I fly Evo before. Broke the killer chalupa. Thanks for something. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Huh? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That's a high fly drone. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. It's the gimmick that everyone's You're an asshole until you use your time powers. Why yeah. would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. I've never done this. I'm not controlling this. Why aren't they reacting to it? The trays thinks for seven. Oh, it's invisible. I hit space. I don't know if I ended it earlier or what. Okay, bitch, no one cares. Tree. It. So bizarro to be back here after five years. Huh? I thought I could just fit right back in at school. 
Huh? With all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Loser POV. I think it just goes until I do something. Man, you think we're a loser? This kid's gonna fucking walk around. Walking is cringe. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. That's the parking lot. Oh, the flash drive's in my dorm. I understand now. Uh, little bitch. Here, little bitch. Hey, man. What's cool, dog? Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. I want to stitch it's on that rich kid. one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Nathan. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems he unstable. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? No. I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. This guy's hanging out with two chicks. Damn, bruh. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us, too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Who? So you knew Rachel Amber? Me? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel. Even if she didn't act like it. What, what happened do you to her think dog? happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. You're not cool if you call yourself cool, man. Those are the rules. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Huh? You pop in an Addy, dude? Seriously. I have to study for a test now, so I can't talk now. Principal Scarner, thanks for seven. Happy Panda, Janie, thanks for seven. Going back to my dorm to get my flash drive. To hang out with my only friend. Boop, 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 boop. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! 
God, why didn't I go to college, man? This, time, this seems so fucking cool. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Hello. Wait. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. Okay. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chiclet. What is Good Chiclet? Point. Now if you'll excuse me. Yeah. What is Chiclet? Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Chick literature? No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. How does this art school have a fucking football, Max? Big football. Step away. Have a fucking football team. Sweet. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. You good, creepy girl? Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything? Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Seriously, Max, I don't want to talk. Max, get a clue. Seriously, Max, I don't want to talk. Max, get a clue. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Yeah, bye. Howdy, Samuel. Well... Hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Bro, why does oh, he sound like she that? She would know that, right? Uh, Dude, what I the guess. fuck? It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Huh? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Sweet. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. You knew Rachel? He's talking in the third prison? person. You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Huh? What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. How do you know? She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Sammy. <laughs> and watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. I wonder if this guy's the fucking murderer. Hi. Uh. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Time to get bullied. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> One right poo on Since the wall. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? <laughs> oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. None shall pass. Capiche? That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Sorry, I just wanted to be 15 seconds in the past for no fucking reason. Yeah. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Samuel, help! What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look 
great. I can't even chill on the steps. Why would you want to sit on the steps if you're wearing a fancy outfit? Sweet. Sorry, do you understand English? Get lost. Why are you so mean? Are we about to carry this chick? Keep walking, hippie. Get out. Leave. Stop reversing time, you bitch! There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. How do we, what do we do? Awesome. What Ooh. the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Oh, you I know, how much I know what we have to do. Pass. You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. We have to not get them off the steps. La 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 la. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. I know I need the paint, you dumb bitch. <laughs> How do I get it, man? Hello? I need to figure this out. I have to get it before he puts it on there. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Amper. What did you do? Okay, let's see if this works. Don't mind me, I'm just staring suspiciously at you. Okay. Nice. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus. under the bucket. Oh, I'm fucking. <laughs> We're fucking with the timeline right what now, the guys. Hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit Is that chick costs? wearing shorts? Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sweet. Sweet. Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Oh. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Good? Uh, nice. hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. Yeah. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Awesome. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Dude. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Are we friends now? You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. 
That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. No. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Just... And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room and see more. I'm not trying to get school shot, man. <laughs> uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. Nathan's That's an awesome coming. cashmere coat. It was. Why can't I skip some of these, this dialogue? I'm hitting space. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Space. Richard Avid on us. Space. Not shift. He's one of my heroes. Enable it in settings. Zero numpad. Yes. Thanks, Max. I have seen this, and there's no reason I, I shouldn't be able to skip it. Hope the sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and only stuff you've seen before. Go fuck you just tune in, motherfucker. This should happen three minutes that ago, mean, man. But two minutes ago. Funny. Just one of those days, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Just Young Gilfa, thanks for subbing. Cool name. Au revoir. I'm a big Gilf fan myself. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Dude. You're a Dilf. Oh yeah? I'm gonna get some coffee. Coffee break. Leave it on pause. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to put on a video. Big sneeze. Oh, We're back real quick.
Dude. Yeah. Dude! No. Okay.
Dick on man, what do you think for gifting a million subs? Very cool. Dude. I got a fortune cookie, guys. Just read a novel, learn more about life. That's what we're doing. Yeah. It's a virtual novel, guys. Hoggers. Teach me what I missed in the life game. Hoggers. I got another one. Hang on. going to be pissed we took so long. Now is the time to be candid and above board about in all things. Nathan shot that kid. is going to be pissed we took so long. Feel run. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Red rub. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Movie reference! Whoa. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Operate firearms. Yeah, people here are merciless. What? Red rum, red rum. Red, red rum, Juliet, red, 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 red extreme rum. Extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Red, red, rum, red, 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 rum. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Wait, who put this here? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. What the F do you, dog? Gotta go. My boyfriend's waiting for me. They live. Great. Not a Facebook zombie. 
Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Wait, is this is this Kate's room? I noticed she had a crucifix. Omega Punk. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Vegans. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Be the change you wish to see, Gandhi. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. <laughs> I want to be a bully. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Who is Brooke? Don't know. Going in my room now. Fuck everything. I'm going to my dorm room. Oh, drone girl? Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. How I'm glad Kate let me room? borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. You a Bradbury head? I miss head? going to the games with my dad. Go... Happy birthday. We can't believe it's been 18 years since you were brought to us. Still so send me an email. He told us about some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this is a serious false charge and that he is worried about you telling stories. Call me ASAP. Wait, but he had a gun. Thunderbirds. <laughs> huh? Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm animal. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> Your plant will grow. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Inko sushi, a uh, fuck kill. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Damn, she is a hipster, bro. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. My father, the greatest care, and I congratulate you on your taste in your later weight. You're in death through Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixen. This kid gave him her Cannibal Holocaust to watch. <sighs> Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Turn off. Turn on. This action will have come. The Ahoy, environment. Captain. At least I know you've got my back. Or you bought you. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. You brought your fucking stuffed doll to college, huh? That's cool. Uh, normal people stuff. Fucking look at it! Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's high school? Chad, is this high school or college, man? Because I literally 10 minutes ago, you guys said it was a fucking college. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Well, time to get back on the road. Play some guitar. Oceans and feelings. Or high school. Which one is it? I don't know. The pillar outside of my dorm says poo. Who wrote that? Who?
Who wrote poo on my dorm room? Who? <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Are they bullying that Kate chick because she shit herself? Because they did write poo, a uh, poop on her board. Right? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. Good I assumption, have every but no. Book for myself. <laughs> so cheesy, but. It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Got no friends. Wait. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. No. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a bag, just track me down in my room. Fucking Great. rob me? Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. It's got Cannibal Holocaust on it. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. <laughs> Shut up. Now. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. On a bat flash drive, if you ever want to check them out, thanks for the help. The scientist more than ours can quickly explain to me how a camera works. Be seeing you. Hey, hitting on me? DVD. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Bye. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh. Yeah, that bitch has Welcome my shit. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Julia, this is so stupid. Answer, lock you wuss. How'd you... Ugh. How'd you lock it from the outside? You are ridiculous. Hey, what's up? Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did man? she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. No! Ouch. How did you no! find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, I think it's this one because it sounds Juliet the dumbest. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Yeah. Guess I'll rewind that. I don't think I have a choice. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. You are 
Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you, How know? Do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You yeah. could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Okay, time to break into a room, I guess. Just normal stuff. Why is the door open? Is she gonna see me? She's got a big ass room, dog. What the heck? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. <laughs> Unlike me. Denied. You deserve. Speaking of selfies, let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, a <laughs> pattern is emerging. <laughs> I want to be friends with her, guys. She's cool and rich. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Rich. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. True. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just... Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. <laughs> yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Victoria hates Rachel. When Amber was this, this game released? How insecure. Who cares, bitch? Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Is the Vortex Club a cult? 1980s, it started as New Wave Rebellion against the Yuppie Forces of the Reagan era. Uh, originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic that the revolutionary roots of social misses it become a student claim is an elitist cult. Ooh. What you watching, cuh? That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. <laughs> they actually did Dior, that. Dior, Givenchy... You could pay for my tuition. Those boots are made for walking runways. Well. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Mm -mm. Dumb as believed me. And so I expect there to be dorm rampage to Juliet. Deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. It's for Dana who gives a shit. Get out your popcorn. Wow. I don't want to do that. He's my homie. Let's just leave. Oh. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Can we just skip this? Oh, wait, we need to get into that room. Fuck you, game. Son of a bitch. Building looks like the resort in Tarkov. <laughs> True. Fuck. 
I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. What the fuck has a printer? Uh. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Me? Boom. Okay, boomer. <laughs> okay, boomer, dude. College students? Okay, boom. Okay, boomer. 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 Juliet, read this. Of course. Now say you're sorry, wench. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Why are the locks on the outsides of the door? Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Huh? I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. You're just getting your laptop for a second, man. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Subscribers, 2,500. Friends, 1,000. Trevor, what up, Dana? Justin, couch locked with Super Mario. If you want to come over, we can blaze and play or go for a walk. Let me know I'll be here. Still here. Hello. Oh, so that kid smokes weed. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Pee on this? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. There's no more gossip. But I could here, rewind Max. and make it up so to good. her. Great. I made Dana even more stressed. There's no more gossip for you here, Max. So go. Yeah. <laughs> Rewind stare. If we abuse our power, then the time continuum might get fucked up, Chad. It's probably best that we use it sparingly. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Fine. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Huh? <laughs> Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. 
<laughs> so don't think I'm blind. I see everything here. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. <laughs> I will remember this interaction. Don't forget. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. <laughs> I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? What about the anti-bully signs? Huh? Uh. I can't even read those signs. They're so blurry. <laughs> Joji, Mystery Dolphin, DK Research for gifting one sub. Wizard thanks for subbing. This kid's been waiting for us for like an hour, dude. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Kill Have her. you talked to Zach yet? Kill her! Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. There's no way I can walk to the town from here. Besides, I need to see Warren. <laughs> Try and do literally everything else. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Isle of MPP? Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Whose truck is is it the fucking creepy guy? Hey dog. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Cujo, more like? A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. <laughs> Fucking taking away my rights. Dude, she's an anti-vaxxer and she hates surveillance from the government. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I did that. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Uh... I don't want to talk. I don't talk. talk about it. Jeez. You're a little missensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there. From <laughs> Akira to Twilight Zone? He's so which cool, seems dude. apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. So that does fucking sound better cool, than dude. thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Why? Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? See? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What? No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. 
Speaking of hip and fast, you should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to I talk. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For I have a one, superpower. This is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever Power had a dream of courage. so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. I told him the Answer truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max. Wait, what? Don't Get ditch him! Your punk asses, pass there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Why did they ditch him? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Wait, it's the same chick? Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You did see him! You're not the him. only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No. no, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking I live pictures. there, guys. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. <laughs> Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. Know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. You're a bitch. Rewind. 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 Not working. <laughs> <laughs> this is dog shit. <laughs> Man, are you serial? <laughs> wow, I haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max.
Guy in chat, are you serial? You think this is dog shit, man? Come on, bro. It's one of the most highly acclaimed video games of all time. You're just being a contrarian, dude. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Contradiction! <laughs> Stop gaslighting me. Don't use the Jeep. Think like a man. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Ow very edgy it's cool at least we can chill out this isn't exactly my chill out zone my step fear makes sure of that come in and close the door put on some music while i medicate wait she's doing drugs guys Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Or? I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Yeah, I will report her to the police. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Meow. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. It won't play without any power. What? The power strip off. Who does that? I'm not into them. Too pretentious. You gonna play some pog music? Bam, 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 bam. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. You on Facebook, bruh? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Weed. Weed. Is this a desk or a storage space? Weed. I think this junk swallowed her discs. God, fuck I'm old. Remember CDs? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> Tell Maybe Andrew, Chloe Priscilla. wouldn't pay her parking tickets. She does love trouble. I've never gotten a parking ticket. Heroics, my name is Praise Crazy Wild Chris. Thanks for subscribing. My GF, she's dead now. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. God, I'm putting it mildly. So angsty. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never I forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. <laughs> you would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What happened? So what happened? Did your folks... Life is true. Mom?
still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait a second. Joyce looks happy. Is that the same guy? Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Contradiction. <laughs> the one I pissed off. I'm sure he's not going to do some weird shit to me now that I'm in his house, right? Adam Reborn, thank you for something. He's here. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Is he drinking a beer watching the game right now? Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Oh, there's more. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I'm in his house, though. My wife does this shit. She'll make, like, a cup of coffee and then not drink. And just leave it there. My wife! I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Turning on every light. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better Real get milk, one soon. Chocolate cake, oil, bananas, toilet paper. Oh, why? I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Poor, poor, poor. poor Yum, poor, poor. that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Stop calling her by her first name. That's weird. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Why is your ketchup and mustard outside? Huh? We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car come. Rip Bongo. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Bingo, bango, bongo. I go to the Congo. How's the song go? Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. Bingo, bango, bongo. What do you truly want to do Bing bong. Grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all come over for something. instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer, as if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. You're Somebody dying will. from cringe? I believe in you. Is that bro look at this house okay it's an okay house but what the fuck why is your ketchup outside why does it look like a poor person house
If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. It, sorry, I didn't say that right. It has all the makings of a nice house. It's big. But it's dirty. <laughs> Why is it so fucking dirty? Bible? I guess they're aging these books. Bible. I should be able to find the tools I need here. I want to search that yet. I saw 9-11. Warning. I don't doubt that. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. I'm going to find out this guy's a pedophile, guys. Happening. The tools might be in this cupboard. That fucking deep prepping. I wonder what's in those files up there. Password. Shit! Butterfingers. Uh oh. Kate Marsh. Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Wait a second. Is he trying to help his stepdaughter to get her to finally love him by finding out who killed Rachel? We should probably leave that on the floor. Maybe she, he'll help us. Hmm? Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Oh, he is a fucking prepper, dude. Yeah, let's knock it on the ground. Oh, man. I'll always make them fall. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure you could do it a different way. <laughs> Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's Hello? stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Yeah, yup. That's me. Gun wreck. Hmm. Yup. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Hmm. Yes, score. Hmm. Hmm. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Hmm. What? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? <laughs> uh... Nothing. This is so lame. Oh my god. So lame. Oh my gosh. Car. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. I'm a more. Boy, there's no tools down here. You fucking lied to me, dog. Liar. I want him to know that we know he's a creep. So we're going to leave that shit there. What kind of car do I drive? Hm. Fast. Chloe, if oh, you're listening, hoggers. Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... 
told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Hey, Dad. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. At no the need to go there now. What? At the garbage dump. Yeah. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. <laughs> I killed this. <laughs> I did this. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Drugs. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well, tasty. Very tasty. Fire. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Why is that ketchup oh, shit, the out there? There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. Yep. I was a kid once. This nostalgia got me fucked up. I got scenes. <laughs> I used to live here. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've gotta be shitting me. Poor little deer. Ooh. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Bro, what am I missing, man? I searched everything. Look. I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. Why does David have them? The cupboard you haven't opened? The tools might be in this cupboard. I already opened this one. Why didn't you look? Oh. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Bro, you're telling me there's not a ladder in here. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. No way. Brilliant, huh? Max. Brilliant. There's no way, huh? That does not look stable. Let's use a gun. Stand up there. I'm gonna use a rifle. No reason to go now. Where is the fucking ladder of hell? Backyard? It's so tranquil here. Like a Japanese garden in Oregon. Oh. It is not like that. <laughs> no, it is not. It's next to the outside ketchup. Which which ketchup do you guys prefer? Inside ketchup or outside ketchup, man? Because honestly, I think I'm an inside ketchup guy, personally. Outside ketchup? You're an outside catchy dude? A pooch. Axe, thanks for subbing. Hello. Ash fish, thanks for subbing. You're an Audi? You like your ketchup domesticated? Fair. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance thing. cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? 
close. Now he'll never know we were in here, except there's probably a camera in here. Lol. Where the fuck is Bro? Help. Look down? I am looking down. And that helper. Help, that guy's modded. There are so many different ways yes, we could have gotten this. You have mad skills, Max. Leave it on. To destroy I've the got environment. the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. She's the one who kicked you out. Take the hint. You're a bitch. Be Bitch. Open. Yo, we cool? You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Yep. This truly is a strange life that we're living, huh? The sun never sets. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, man. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? No. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Yup. Yup. Just a bit. It was strange. There's no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Yes. Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? <laughs> that drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Tell me now. I'm a wizard now. I can help you. I'm a wizard of hell. Time to put on some emotional mood music. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This day couldn't get any stranger. Guess you could say the life is, well, a little strange. This 
song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. <laughs> yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Shit. Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Get smart. Just... Let me in, now, please. One second, my bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. <laughs> I'm giving you exactly three seconds. I'm not a kid anymore, I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Three. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking! She's not a stranger! This is my friend! Great. Another one of your friends. I ordered you to never go through my files. You obviously have. I didn't touch your files, David. I could care less about your files. You care about starting shit, Chloe, and it's getting old. It smells like dope in here, girl. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot, it's from Max. Is this true? Yep. Uh, yeah, my pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. <laughs> I was a soldier, Chloe. <laughs> and Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Fuck you, Dad! Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. What? Epic. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody. Even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. I don't like it. thinking I might thinking I might blame it on her guys you token up grass Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Where can I hide at? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm you can hide a joint, a but minute. not the smell. Forget it. Let me in now, please. One second. My this Cross is going stuff. nowhere fast. I better the closet. Chloe, open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. I ordered <laughs> you to never go through my files. You obviously have. I didn't touch your files, David. I could care less about your files. I was you a care soldier. about starting shit, Chloe, and it's getting old. Token up, One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. Whose is it? They had. 
Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish <laughs> you'd leave Joyce, like now. Whoa. Chloe, oh. I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Whoa. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. All American men are like this guy. <laughs> hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Uh, man, we're good. We're good, dude. We don't have to help. We'll go out through the window. Seeing Steph Dick is not on the agenda. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. Snitch ending? Hold on. Like, I'm ending. I want to know about his photo. I want him to know we know about his photos hides in a closet. Well, we already know what happens if he finds us. Joint floating in midair. Where? so high right now if I use my power it might help don't tell me what to do you gotta worry about the space-time continuum is that Sonic on the fucking wall hot Sonic hold on hold on hold on Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll be our B. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, it's your boy Badlands Chugs, and I just want to let you know that Badlands Grabby. Chugs merch is on, all right? Yo, if you want the official Badlands Chugs DOS boot signed and everything, you want the merch, you want the keychains, man, yo, it's all at BadlandsChugsMerch.com, all right? Visit Badlands Chugs merch for all your Badlands Chugs stuff. We got new shirts, new designs. Go tell a friend and check it out. BadlandsChugsMerch.com. Oh, yeah. Time for a little stealth mission, you up for it? Oh, yes, folks. You see the sky, right? So you know what that means. We're doing another stealth chug. And, yo, we're doing something brand new, folks. Well, it's back for a limited time. Let's get that in focus. The Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. Let's get into it. Don't touch that mouse. You're watching Badlands Chugs. What's good, folks, and welcome back to another Stealth Chug. Oh, man, it's a happy time in the backyard, an awesome time in the backyard, and I want to thank you for watching all the time. And, yo, today, folks, we have an exclusive, okay? This right here, oh, my goodness, it's Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. 
Ah oh, man, it's only fitting that we would do a dark berry stealth chuck. Oh my gosh. And yo, this bad boy is rich code and it's tied into the new Jurassic Park movie. But yo, we'll go see that later tonight. We're gonna chug this bad boy, okay? So let's step into the chug zone, shall we? All right. Crack this open. Oh yeah. And it's fridge cold, folks. And I got the boot right here. So let's pour it. Oh yes. The goodness of dark berry. Into the boot. Yes, look at that. Mm-hmm. It looks good. And it smells good, all right? So, let's get the rest of these open, all right? Uh, yes. Number two. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do when they start making those caps that don't come off? Because you know they're coming. Uh, I wonder why they're doing that. Maybe they heard that I like to throw caps at the cat, at the... Maybe they heard I like to throw caps at the camera lens, but hey. Y, X, Y, we're here to chug. This is the last one, folks. Uh. Oh, and it's fridge cold glory. All right, let's put it in, folks. Uh. Yeah, get it in there. Mm. Ooh wee, cup run them over, uh-huh, yeah. Ooh wee, that's what I'm talking about. You hear that? That's the sound of goodness, all right? <laughs> all right, so, hold on. Hush doggy. Yo, it's rough doing chugs in the backyard, especially those stealth chugs. You gotta watch your back. <laughs> but yo, back to the chug. The boot is here, 60 ounces of goodness. 60 ounces of good old Dr. Pepper dark berry, okay? So, you know what I say now, enough talk. Let's get it done, okay? Three. Two, one. <sighs> yeah, that's how you do it. That's how it's done. It is so good too. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that sucker's good. That's what I'm talking about. A nice chug from the backyard. Oh, yes. It's not here for a long time, so you better get it now. What's the saying? Here for a good time, not a long time. Dr. Pepper Dogberry, nice. all right? Enjoy that night. It What's tastes hella better, good. Man, okay? So for Welcome back to the Bizarro stream. Bull Jammin, Bo Boto Bega, Baga, Fugly, Slate Typhoon, thanks for something. Typhoon. Not Typhoon. I'm totally serial about this. It's time to get hella strange. This game more or less cringe than you expected. I would say less until she started dancing and smoking her joint on the bed. <laughs> now it's more. <laughs> yeah, with her fucking shoes on. I haven't dude. been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Wait. Hey, where the fuck is she at? Hello, cute little squirrel. 
You and me. Stare contest. I win. Double you. <laughs> Double you. <laughs> Is she a so kecker, lucky, dude? They can always escape. No way. Man, I should. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> yep. This truly is Oregon. Hey. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Photo. Of hell. You cool that I did that? I don't you care. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Pissed at Are me? You pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? No. Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't <laughs> know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. Ella. I'll keep this a secret for now. At war. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's, What's Nathan's secret? secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? Huh? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Sco what? Sex for money? Huh? So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. That is fucked up. Chloe, that <laughs> is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. Shut up, bitch. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. What is this pre-rendered cutscene? Huh?
If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Okay. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. <laughs> I had to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. I hate where I live. Just go under it, dog. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Am I fucking stupid? Should still hit me, dog. They're trying to kill me. Oh, my Lord, the tornado is back. going to get wiped out by a tornado. That's strange, Oregon Max. Gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just saw. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. That's a little strange. Take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I That's see you're hella strange. With a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. <laughs> Our storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. 
I just did, you fucking bitch. Everything that's happening, all the people we met, the dog, the camper, Victoria, well, I guess you could say it's all a little strange. Collection three. Wait, that's the dead girl, guys. Guys, wait, I'm a fucking normie. I'm a normie. No. No. Isn't it strange that after five years we could become best friends again? Hella strange. <laughs> so we know that her stepdad has a poop video of Kate. That's cool. Why did Square Enix make you know what? This is pretty pretty on par for Square Enix quality now that I think about it. They published it. Something good. Not surprised. Oh, something good. Oh, something good. God, I want to eat those candles so no, bad, guys. Stop me. A never nude? Who the fuck sleeps in clothes? Chat, she's 18. Guys, she's 18. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. I don't think that would help, seeing as you can only go back in time 15 seconds. Get up! I'm tired of listening to this, man! This 100 guess. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Turns it off with mind powers. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Hello. 
No emoji. Brown. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll know time is not on your side. After all, you did step, let step door bust me. You on my way, smile, you are evil 40 minutes Even or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Rewind only limited by time itself. Right now, I have only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Blah, blah, blah. Let's water our plant. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. The plants crave. Isn't that strange? The plant. Grows. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. It's a metaphor for time, guys. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Shut up, nerd. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Yeah! Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. 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 No brook here. Fine. I won't disturb you. We'll bang for God. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Hi. We cool, man? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Bro. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. It's truly his college, Can you guys. Please bring it back to my room this morning. I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Well, time to go into her room and find out what kind of weird shit she's into. Oh. Never nude. Never nude. Never nude. Never nude. Never nude. Never nude. Spit. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Laxatives. Yup. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Preach it, sister. We all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. A 
she's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. Whoa. You're such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Why is she so mean, bro? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. You ever pee in the shower? All the time, man. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Still an anti-vaxxer? Cool. You like to see that? Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. What? Rachel is a whore! Or Yo, what's up, man? Uh, Still pregnant? Hi, Dina. Do you hate me? No, Max. I don't hate you. Not that I don't like Juicy Casa. I just wish you weren't so nosy. I care. Because I care. I would laugh, but you did save me yesterday. So let's call it even. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Who cares? That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So... Are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. After I go through your shit. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Let's talk later, Max. What the fuck? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. So fuck. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Oh. Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. I didn't say That's that. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'm not watching the video, Max. Juliet has no clue how much this is hurting Kate. Rollerblades, nerd. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Nerd. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. What? That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. What? 
Well, you guys have a good time. Sorry for just randomly walking into your room. Not. I need to get dressed before I go there. Okay. What was that? Nobody messes with <sighs> me, bitch. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Huh? Why? Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. After the fact? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Dude, what the fuck? I'm being hazed right now. That's not Pog. That is hella not Pog. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> same fucking clothes, dude. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. No book here. That's where it was, dude. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate Time. needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Go figure, this fucking boring-ass bitch is the one person to get time travel powers, and she, I'm using it again to solve a mundane problem. This book probably cost two dollars, dog. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Of course! Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Why don't we rewind to see who fucking vandalized your room? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. We'll bang for God. Broad dip. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Kind of depressing. Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. No flash photography, man. It's going to explode. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Tissues. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Kate really has a doting father. Eh? That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Don't want to look at yourself? Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. We'll, we'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Yep, religion bad. <laughs> that is true. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Find me, Kate, just looking around your room. 
Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. The Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Creepy. Dad looks fucking weird. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Hello. Ouch. She left out amnation. Oh, Spirit of Devil confirm me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved. <laughs> Religion really bad. <laughs> really. <laughs> Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate, I hate bullies. bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party, Did you with, party them? with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. She got roofied. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. What a dick. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Dude, what the fuck? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? <laughs> I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? How do I delete it from the internet? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. What button deletes Facebook? Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth, Book, book, book. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? We gotta look for proof. The authorities have not helped. 
If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try to find out who wrote that stuff in blood on her. No emoji. Yo, what up, dog? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Look you look distracted. distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering noob. if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. What? Are you still my boyfriend? I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. <laughs> Clearly not a morning person. Clearly not a morning person. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Okay. We gotta go have food with our best friend who we hate. Or else. It's a normal morning knocking on literally everyone's door. What's up, creep? The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early. Already communing with the critters. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Why is he so creepy? Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Global warming bad. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Wait, I can't use my controller? Rick. I saw Don't a doe. laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed Just check the options. If you look seemed right. Would I change my chat settings? What? At me.
like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get oh. in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Bro, he's so fucking weird, man. Well, I want to get my controller to work. Huh? How do I do that? Never saved? Hold on. Restart with controller on? I mean, it was on when I started it initially. <laughs> Help. Help. Is it a PS4 controller? It's a PS5 controller, guys. I don't think it's working. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Guys, it's not working. Do you have to watch? Dude, do you have to watch this every time you fucking launch the game? No way. Hold on. That is so strange. Xbox controller. Xbox. Oh. Xbox. Did I do not like holding the Xbox controller? <laughs> Okay. Holy fuck! Did I already talk to you? Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. What difficulty settings is this on? Morning. Hella strange. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. I'm an inverter, guys. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals. What's in my forest. rewind button? The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. I guess you could say what animals do the, my controller the settings are uh a little Don't strange. Laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign. Find about your destiny. Magic Donut and Arigato Vire. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> no one cares. Fuck you. So. What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I Rosh Harley for seven. Hasn't seen anything like that before. Blah blah I blah. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. That looks like Moon. Oh, he's got the fucking Guy Fieri goatee, motherfucker. What's the? F what? Stop! 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 This is different on controller, guys. Hey, Samuel. You're up, bro. Oh. That's... This... Don't... Oh. Epilepsy warning. 
I cool. Hey, girl. What's good, Hi, dog? Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Okay. Let's not fight, okay? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. The video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Why? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. What? I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Your mom's we've dying. That's karma for everything that we've, uh... Hi, Taylor. Experience Hi, together. Hi, Taylor. Just be... About your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. How'd I'm you hear so that? I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. <laughs> you can become friends with everyone. Rachel owes the money, pay up, bitch. Be friends with everyone, you just gotta fucking use your magical time magic to fucking say the right fucking thing, dude. Hey, this father's attempt to let, the, let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. The first student at Blackwell to try this, I hope you're the last, because this is a, f a final polite warning. Lol. Not scared. Is this fucking cuck lord waiting Max, for me? Check it out. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Who says it like that? Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <laughs> An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Dude, we're a big mouth, Principal dude. Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. We're kind of a Speaking snitch. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Stop Let's inviting me to stuff. No. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Don't care. No, well, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the drive-in, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. <laughs> Why would you tell me that you're asking someone else out? This Maybe action talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Will have consequences. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. This action will have consequences. Where are we going? Nice leg. Thanks, man. You like that? You like that? Huh?
Why does this college have school buses? Bro, it's a West Coast thing, man. They're all... Don't you know that it's just different, guys. You wouldn't get it. This is just Oregon stuff, man. You know? Hello, how do you do? Wait, that's a one-way dog. You can't, you actually can't turn on that road. <laughs> Hold up. Dude, am I reading that wrong? Rewind. Guess you could say the uh, traffic laws are uh, a little strange in Oregon. <laughs> Guess you could say that, man. <laughs> Why did it take so fucking long to get here, man? Yep, I'm ready to cash my bonds. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Are we finally gonna get to, gonna get to meet the homeless people? Nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Nope, I don't. Hey guys, what's good? No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep, got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. Hi, you look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but. I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Not very well. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things e that bad? Economy here? bad. Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks. I sure need it. Economy bad. Religion bad. Guns bad. Am I late? Okay. Nope, I don't want to go there. Excuse me. I'm you, and I want to go over there. You are not my boss. I am the boss of you. Spin in a circle three times. I think that was four. Where's that dog at? You know he's over here. Ah! Stop that. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. There's that dirty RV from the other day. There's the homeless guy. Except he has a home. He's a neo-homeless guy. Hello. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. <laughs> Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has it changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. This guy is a fisherman. It's like dude. a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to this learn guy more, is... I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Such a fisherman, dude. He said Neptune. 
He gave me an adage, bro. He is so Snow. fit. Ella well, Fisher. Well, that's a good start to the story. Freak snow that I caused with Excuse my mind. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Why is it so dark? It's the morning? Global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Okay. You know, I gotta say. There it is. This is my West Coast experience. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Oh, wise hobo of the alley, what is your wisdom? <laughs> because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Okay. What changes to the town? She's a vampire. Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. True. His name is David Madsen. Yeah, get it right. He told me to get a job once, <laughs> asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Get a fucking job. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. I think I'm supposed to rewind so I can see the other dialogue things. Hello. Yeah. I Epilepsy. <laughs> Epilepsy. You must. She. Ep. Epilepsy. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. Rachel Amber. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Damn, she was so cool. Sometimes I'd see her walking. All by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Was she alone a lot or with friends? Like I said, she seemed tight with Joyce's daughter. I thought I Why saw her with an older gent one time. Maybe her dad. That's a terrible thing for a parent to deal with. I pray the poor thing is all right. But you can't save everybody. Goodbye. I have to go now. Hi, I'm back again. Sure <laughs> looks that way. <laughs> I have to go. Hello. Oh. I could. T you. Chloe. 
Amber. Uh, did you talk to her? Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right. But you can't save everybody. I can, because I'm a time wizard. Peace. I have to go. <laughs> time wizard. The time wizard. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. What? Because they're building houses? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. I'm high. You should be studying. Why does that mustard say mayo so on it? all your homework, school girl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Mayo. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. <laughs> how, did, how the fuck did you hear that, dog? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got right blazed. There. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See in class, Max. Don't fucking care. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. <laughs> now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. This guy's cool, man. I don't feel like talking right I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. <laughs> huh? Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee and juicy burgers at a time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He's perving on everyone. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Did he get fired? <laughs> so, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard Ima imagine just you get fired be from being a cop. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? <laughs> I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. 
I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a True. psychologist, so. And that tells me everything I need to know, friend. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Giga cop mentality. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Couldn't you tell me more about the creepy homeless guy? Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. <laughs> now let me mourn over my eggs. Bye. Weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Wow, I wonder if Weird Lady is just Canadian. <laughs> because the people who made the game are Canadian. Oh yeah, this is totally America. I think she's so weird. So fucking weird that she says, hey, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Mm. This guy has serious corners. Why? Because he's old and has a beard and flies a sp Water Why ship? does that so not sound fun? I've been on a boat tour. It's not fun. <laughs> I might make Chloe check this out with me. I went on some boat tour of Seattle or some shit. I can't remember. God, that shit was fucking boring, dude. The poster doesn't mention no booze. students with guns. No booze on the boat tour. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. So what are the themes of this game so far? One. My home is weird and I hate it. Two. Uh. Soldier gets respect even though he is Installing security cameras and hitting kids. Three, weed lol. <laughs> Four, uh. Oh yeah, rich equals bad. <laughs> five equal, uh, five is bullying equals bad. Yeah, sorry, we'll go back to four. Capitalism bad, there we go. Six, time travel is good for building social relationships. Good. Nice. Just need a superpower. Bam and am and amber. Amber doo boop. Seven, mysterious dark past. Okay. Kate Marsh, love you long time. I aim to misbehave. Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Wait, it's written in the same font as every other graffiti, though. Rachel A. owes me a BJ. So does your mom, Hart. Gross. Arcadia Gay sucks dick. <laughs> Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> huh? Bro, you're gonna be in the picture. Right? Okay, I was about to make fun of her for being a vampire if it was just, <laughs> if I just wasn't in it. Well, guess it's time to sit down and Drool. 
want everything. Give me one of them glazers. Where's your hairnet, dog? I'm not trying to get hair in my bacon, dog. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. No! Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. Dude, what the fuck? I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Your I know daughter is getting beaten. You and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe this banjo music is again. perfect for this. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. She does. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. He hit her mm -hmm. in the face. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. No excuse. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I want to see the eating animation, dude. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Who here doesn't drink coffee? You are a child if you do not drink coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Nerd Belgian graffiti. Warren must have. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. I was listening to that. Put on a rap song. <laughs> Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Uh, Two dollars for a glass of orange juice? What the fuck? It looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Drink. Incoming. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Same clothes. Mom and Max together again. 
And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get I'll one child slice beater. of bacon a day. Child, Sergeant so Child Hitter. Another reason to blow this town. Yeah, that's powder from Arcane. Yes. Fucking League of Legends stole this shit, man. Holy fuck, true. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening. I don't so think I fast. can prove it to we'll you. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You Ooh. have X-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Don't show me the it Okay, Max. Impress me. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. <laughs> so, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Wait, just tell me. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. I didn't okay, look. Psychic girl. <laughs> Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. God damn it. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Don't make me act. Dude, nice PS2 graphics. Holy fuck. Three quarters. Six pennies and a nickel. Cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. Dude, I'm not gonna remember this shit, mofucker. You guys, you guys remember, okay? You got this, Max. Now we're one. We'll blow his mind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute panda. robot panda keychain. Panda. Panda. Not bad, panda. Super panda. Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Mm, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Three quarters, six pennies, a nickel. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But 10 what 53. is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got <laughs> chills all over my neck. <laughs> Yo. 
you have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Amaze balls. How's the food, Max? It's better than I remembered. Very good save. What's my saving? Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Waving. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Broken Shh. cup. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Partner. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started Slapping. it. Slapping. I'm finishing it. Man, this is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. Jukebox. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Okay. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Mm. I'm guessing it, a butterfly lands on it? The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Wasn't looking? How the fuck was I supposed to see that, man? I guessed that one. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. I'm going to predict mm -mm -mm -mm. the truck. So the cop. Well, uh huh. Just this is good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything Time travel. happens like you said. I guess you could say. Me going back in time? Oops. Did to go you back in time? To go oh, back in time? Know, no refill for you. The little strange. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! <laughs> Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Yeah, idiot. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? 
too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and Brain bleed, Monka Giga. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Am I about to pass out? I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. Okay, Supergirl. My let's go to my secret place. Ahead. Don't your even answer. Places winter. to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If we she's gonna kill herself, chat. We got we gotta help her, dude. <laughs> we gotta help her, hey, man. Kate, what's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's Actions rock. equal consequences. <laughs> it wasn't even 30 seconds, man. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. What? Who fucking cares? Such a lame character. <laughs> yeah, Chloe sucks. Wait, is that fucking Jesus? Dude, it's gotta be Jesus. <laughs> dude, it totally is Jesus, dude. Oh, we're going to the fucking junkyard. Is this a cool. Race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Kill someone, and then rewind time. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. I hate you. I am not a fan. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. One. I really have to do a fucking scavenger hunt for bottles in a place wow. that should have them everywhere? That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. Can't take a photo of a ghost. Yeah, it's not there. Goodbye, Doe Chan. Running around looking for some bottles in the junkyard. 
Hey, hey. Less of like a junkyard and more like a scrapyard. Hey, hey. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh, so he died in a car accident. That's cool, man. One. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Cool. Just get me to the gun accident already. Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. Recycle simulator. I don't want to go that way. Let's put an invisible wall there like normal people. Okay. I don't need to see a, an animation of you turning around. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? So fucking goth. Hey, where'd that go? I'm so fucking goth. Morbin? Guys, so something tells me that what just happened has nothing to do with Morb. The Bigfoots were here. I think you guys just heard the word goth and then said Morb. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Why do I need a brick? Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Mine. Boom. Only three bottles left. Yep. I'm a boat. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. <laughs> it actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Who wrote this shit? Me. I won't. I will not be changing my mind. No emoji, bro. The fuck is the fucking bottle at? Can we just do two? Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in. Every car has its own tale and history. Who thinks this shit when they look at stuff? How about this stuff. Sometimes I think about that when I'm driving. Nope, I don't want to go there. And I'll, I'll see someone like drive past me. I'll be like, you know what? That's a human being. Real human. Off to do human shit. I gotta turn the sensitivity up. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Then I snap back to reality before crashing my car. Snap back to reality. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Well, you know what they say, Moon Moon? Life is strange? Damn. <laughs> it really fucking is, man. Holy shit. It actually is so fucking strange. Dude. Don't make me look for this other fucking bottle, you son of a bitch. Hey Google, 
Where are the bottle locations of Life this is Strange was an Chapter old Two? Punk shirt. So fun. So punk. Holy f trash heaps. Living at your parents' house, smoking weed, dancing on your beds. Fuck. Punk. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Where the f dude, where the fuck are the bottles at? Someone, someone look it up. You're supposed to shoot Chloe for the last bottle? Trying to fucking shoot myself in front of this train, motherfucker. Tiny Barry Ollie Carton, thanks for subbing. Dude, it's either too low or too high. I think I'd rather have too low. Anti cheat spam. Chat, I will literally alt tab and fucking look up right now. One by the car just past it near trash, middle, bottom, Where right. To find bottles. Maybe in an old refrigerator. Help. And go inside the house? What house? Right here? This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find... I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Mixtape? Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Nah, you're a pretty bad friend. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. You jealous? You know, a little jelly? You know, butter jelly? Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. You can tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging my ass to give it to you. Maybe I just want you to find out where to start. I met someone recently who's different from the Lane Vortex Club snobs. I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you and think he's gross. And I swear he's wise and unconventional, kind of scary, not in a bad, bad way. He's just experienced some shit. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. I won't blame you for freaking out. Maybe this has to be my secret. I hate... Not sharing this with you, except I know you give me the sick guy for every stupid detail. I'll tell you the night we hooked up your campus. What? That kind of hurts. Is it the hobo of hell? RV hobo of hell? They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Bro, that is a fucking 16 hour drive. <laughs> so Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek? Hmm. One more bottle to go. Ouch. I can't read it. <laughs> what? Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. On top of the fridge? Ew. 
Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Dude, life is really fucking... Really is just a little, you know... Just a little... Well... You know. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. Bro, where's the last one at? This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Loggers. Nope, I don't want to go there. By the boat? Dude, there are multiple boats. On top of a... other side? You passed it like 30 times? Oh yeah, if I passed it so much, then just tell me where it is. Fucking hate you. Found it. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Time to use my magical power for something more mundane. <sighs> Stupid bottle. You still can. Just grab it in a different way, Weird you fucking weirdo. Bottles. Maybe in an old refrigerator. You suck. <laughs> why am I gunching? Bro, why aren't you gunching, dog? Spooky Grandpa, thanks for something, says fart Whoa. ass, cool. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. It's not what I meant. I just want you to be careful too, I guess. But thanks for answering my call this morning. You really need a friend and you deliver it. I'm on your side. X-O-T-T-E-Y-L. Coffee break. Took me longer to find the balls than the beat Doom Ultra Nightmare. It's so bright. Coffee. The green tea. A green tea. Don't pause it on this. No, I'm putting a video on it, guys. Hang on. Cool. Me, 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 me. Yo, Can we just watch the music video? Sure, man. Nah, I want you guys to watch the Red Bull and Milk video. Don't touch that. Don't touch that mouse. Welcome to Badlands Jugs. And back. today, I'm going to conduct a little science experiment. Before I start, I want to say big ups to Van Normus, okay? He's a fellow chugger, and he wanted me to shout him out. So, there you go, buddy. But today, we're going to do something that's been done pretty much a lot. But I've never done it myself. It's the Red Bull and Milk experiment. Basically, it's uh, half milk, half Red Bull, and it's supposed to be some kind of chemical reaction. Okay. So I guess we just sit and wait.
looks like oatmeal or cottage cheese. This is definitely rising to the top. Hopefully it doesn't go over. Let's let this sit for a while. Let's wait. Okay, folks. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Oh my gosh, look at it. It looks like oatmeal on the top. You see how it's separated? It's all like frothy up in the top. And like, I can't even describe it. It looks weird. It looks nasty. But I know what you're thinking. How does this bad boy chug? Well, there's only one way to find out. Doesn't seem bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It tastes like red bill and milk. All right. Knocking these chugs out the box, all right? Keep watching. Cheers. Chugging the world one bottle at a time. Bad Lance Chugs is back.
Dude. Oh my god, the craziest thing just happened. Just kidding. It was a little strange, though. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. Be serious about this. We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show huh? me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. What? Isn't that metal behind it? Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Hmm? Give me something to shoot, Max. Hello, what should I shoot? Fine, since you won't play, I'm going to shoot this barrel. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> Listen to those fat bullet beats. What am I rewinding for? Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. I must rid the world of those bottles. Give me something to shoot, Matt. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. What is now happening? that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Do I and have to rewind? Remains. Oh, I finally realized what I'm trying to do. Dude, I need a How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Got him. Uber cool. Uber cool, bro. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Epilepsy warning. Hold on. Delia, thanks for subbing. 
God Summon, Tanscaper Summon, Bojangles, Manly Handles, Granati, thanks for Summon, Anarchy, Anarchy. Fucking cool, fuck the system. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Wait. Too much action for Arcadia? So there's a side effect? Maybe not enough. That's a little strange. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Normal and not strange? I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't want to do it. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? <laughs> a friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? <laughs> Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Why would I shoot him? Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns Fake out there. Fake American. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Dude, where the fuck am I? Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. At least he doesn't have a gun. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. <laughs> Rifta, thanks for subbing. Sorry. 
And Conebone, thanks for subbing. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. <laughs> Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Okay. Wowzer. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Wowzer! We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Wowzer, dude. I don't want to go that way. Where the fuck did she go? Jinkies, I almost murdered that guy. <laughs> I was there. I almost did a whoopsie and shot someone. Dude, we're oh. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout. Yeah, you do me a fucking timeout, you dummy. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. True. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. Friendship, guys. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. You're sitting on the railroad track? Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. This is Can an active railroad. Board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But they Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? <laughs> I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Hella. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. Nerd. Stupid I'd nerd loser. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Danger. Ah. Epilepsy warning. Dude. What's that noise? The 
train. Oh shit. Why are you panicking? Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a super. Get me out of here, Max. Find something. Free me. Uh. Bird? I can't budget at all. Get me out of here. Dude, you're okay, man. Don't panic. I can Max! definitely use this bad boy. The train's coming! Max, please! Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Max, Move! Get me out of here! Why can't I use it? Please! 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 Max, rewind and find something. Please get me out of here. How do I? Why isn't the cr uh? I can't even move it with this crowbar. For real? Awesome. It's not locked. Pardon? I better find a tool to cut those wires. <laughs> Why don't you just take your fucking shoe off, man? Get me out of here! Don't worry, you're fine. I can control time. There's no threat whatsoever. Hold on, just chill out. You're okay. I need those. Give them to me. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. You're okay. I'm getting less time to help her. <laughs> yeah, <no problem. laughs> Wait a second. Damn, something is blocking the drum. Fucking act. Maybe I could just chop your leg off. I don't want to use this axe. Good lord, Max. She's not a zombie. Find another way. Pussy. <laughs> but which wire to cut? Again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Glock and ball, six for seven, nice name. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but 
I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. <laughs> Bowls, uh, thanks for subbing. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Chaos, Nothing exciting thanks for subbing. Ever happens to us, Does right? life is giga Listen, strange? Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life uh, twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, who are you looking at? A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Friends. Yay. Slight, thanks for subbing. Subscribing is very cool. It'll give you the ability to go back in time. Then you can unsubscribe. <laughs> the Vortex Club of Hell. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. You're a fucking little bitch. So Sir? Oh, hello, party? Max. I, I hope this isn't it? about the alleged god incident. Durky, thanks for subbing. Shanks Theory. Rumpy, rumply foreskin for you. Night two, knees. Slight says this is strange. It is a little strange. Sky Blow, thanks for subbing. Yes, it does. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. I hate you. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. I hope you die. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm <laughs> always taking pictures with my eyes. Whoa, well, bro. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? To Probably fuck with for you. all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Uh, I don't think I'm going. Legacy Sports is for losers. Trevor surveys his domain. Who are you? Hey, Courtney. Oh. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. That's kind of mean. Hey, Courtney. 
Ciao, Max. No. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, what? she's I'll wearing put you down an even uglier outfit. And before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Join us or die. Don't be left out. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hey, man. What's good? Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? What? How do you know I was there? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Oh. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her huh? age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? No. <laughs> Unless you know something about <laughs> Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. Okay. Hey, girl. Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Really don't give a shit. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Dub step. Friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Hello? Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Already dating someone else. Oh, that's the science lab. We don't want to go in there, guys. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later. So you cool? can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. We cool? What do you want from me? I'm creep blocking you. Please, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Stop. Is she just going to disappear? <laughs> Night. Night Mark says, yo, this is kind of strange, dog. Dude, thanks for subbing, man. Razza, thanks for subbing. Sweaty tall guy says, smile. Thanks, man. Beastly a con man. Be oh, sorry, Beastly Taco Man. Thanks for seven. I am a plebeian. Thanks for seven. Gurky Turkey. Thanks for seven. Thank you. Thanks for seven. Sky Blue. Thanks for seven. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. Right. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Wait, I could go so back what can in time. I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. You fucking redneck. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? 
my word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Huh? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. Wait, she needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Dude, Listen, what the fuck? Should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yeah, this bitch is having a woman moment. <laughs> Can you fucking believe it? Cut in the bathroom at a school. <laughs> See you at lunch. Classic N.A. teacher, man. If getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want huh? from me? <laughs> I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Oh, I see. I'm not important to you anymore. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Just between you and me? That's no secret. Word on the street is... I stepped in... Of course. My... All... And oh. Max? I... Kate is... What? No. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. I did not mean to hit Rachel no. Rachel Amber? With all her... Same I'm dialogue. It did... This is... So you don't... I'd like... Listen. Yes. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Schools are please gay. Real life is cringe. Right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? All right, Markov. Okay. School is gay. Yes.
Sure, okay. <clears throat> Take a picture of him berating Kate. Can you? I didn't have the option to. Where's all the pictures? I missed that one gun picture. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if- You hit- You're a- But you tr- You step- Kate- Max- That'll- It will take- Isn't that- I don't- Bye. Vic, thanks for subbing. Beldoran, Toiletus, Toiletus. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. What the heck? That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. It's not that good. That good. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Could say it looks a little strange. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Five years still can't pronounce his name? No, I mispronounced it. Toiletus. Mayo ham. No Thanks time to something. talk, Max. Posing in progress. Damn it, let me stand in front of you. Do you think Max will be pissed? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Huh? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Or yeah, Max. Me. So I won't forget you. Assholes. I, dude, I just wouldn't go to school. If I knew this kid had a gun. <laughs> I just wouldn't come back. Dude. I got a death threat, motherfucker. They painted in pig's blood on my wall. Why am I why am I in class right now, dude? Holy fuck, this is so stupid. Wait, maybe it's because I think I'm invulnerable. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Uh, uh, excuse me. How could I even see that? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a later. lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling... I guess Kate will miss class now. Like giggling about a video gone viral. I'm worried about her. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. <laughs> no smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Why would I marry my best friend? Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. 
in the end. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. And we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who is that? Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm busy. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Nah. Dismissed. Not very good. Oh, did she off herself? Is this for real? It flipped out! I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no! Oh, God. I, I have to do something to help her. Oh, my Jesus! Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. getting a little strange in here. This game feels like I'm playing like a, an old Unity like horror game. That's what it feels like. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Instant transmission. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. What if it never mattered? You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate. Your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Well, we can't do X because she'll be like, oh yeah, then how come you didn't do that? I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. Why did you say that? I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? 
You told me to do nothing! Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. I think she's you do done. have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. Boomer moment. I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? You're gonna get shot? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! It's her father, right? Kate, I yeah. saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I did it! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. I did it. I paid attention. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. You didn't do shit. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Fired, lol. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Fired! Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I gotta do number one, or why. I gotta do why because I think if we do B then we won't be able to expose them. And if the teacher hates us, it doesn't fucking matter. And I think the security guy is probably investigating Rachel's death. 
I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. Scary she dude, so me obviously not, not the, the villain. Yeah. Would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand it. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. It's All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. But I think I can use my power again. Uh, I'm pretty confident in my answer. So I'm the NDA corp. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident in my answer. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Orpa clap. Orpa clap. Orpa clap. We own, <laughs> we own your property now. Real Rave Beer House, thanks for subbing. Lug Nug, thanks for subbing. Party Guest, thanks for subbing. The Brownie Bear, thanks for... Damn. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out. Hugs, tears, applause. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. What the f- Why, Why would you admit that? I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? Wait, do I get to guess? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Dude, get off of me, man. <laughs> I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Bro, back the fuck up. Things are getting a little strange right now, guys. We Things are getting a little fucking strange, huh? Just an eclipse out of nowhere? Mm, that's kind of strange, man. Life. Life is strange.
You gonna cry, you little fucking pussy? This guy's a scumbag. Wait, why on the beach? A little strange, wouldn't you say? You would not? <laughs> why not, man? Wait, that's me. Every time you say the word strange, I lower the volume by 1%. Why, man? Why are they showing the binder again? Dude, what the fuck? He's taking drugs. Wait. Hold on, he's got the PTSD. Holy fuck. Looks like most people were able to save the girl. Looks like most people blamed the, the roofie kid. Dude, the, the game even like stresses to you. It's like, we gotta find more evidence. We have to find more evidence. The, you even literally report him for having a gun and the principal does nothing. The, multiple people are like, bro, they own the town. Why the fuck? Ugh. Why would you blow your load at that point and be like, yep. Yep. Uh. Getting into this game? All right, maybe a little bit. Look, I'm a game connoisseur. Okay, even walking some. I'm in it for the cringe, though. Where is it? You're literally getting chills right now. Look at my arm. Same. Check your donos, it's giga important. It makes you think about how strange life is. <laughs> Thank you. Nag Mule, Op, Pimpo Swaggins, Ricks, Fantasy Robot. Thanks for something. You look at her ass. What the fuck is that? Minus one percent. I didn't say it, someone fucking else did. I was just reading it. <laughs> Weird, she's mentally tough. Kate. Wait, 
I've got PTSD now. No. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. That fucking rabbit? Wait, whose rabbit was that? Oh, it's my rabbit. When did I get a rabbit? Are you hungry, bunny? Here, nosh on this. Oh, it's Kate's. If we can let it die. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. I got punished for watering my plant. You fucking serious, dog? No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Ooh, thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? In the drawer. What did I just do? It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She, she was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. She doesn't look very happy, though. <laughs> Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Sunshine Ray. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Father Lamont. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Let's create a petition. <laughs> Unfairly removed for blah, blah, blah. We're not aligned with the school faculty. Good fuck this Nazi bullshit. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Eres una chica dura. Wait, you read Douglas Adams? That's pretty quirk. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. 12 subscribers. I gotta let my doggies up. Bro, I'm out of videos. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually out of videos. I'll just show this music video. Spongebob theories? Don't touch Bro, that. I remember the, watching the very first episode of Spongebob, and I'm still not into Spongebob as much as, like, the fucking Zoomer crowd is. Holy fuck. Be right back, real quick.
Leave. Oh yeah. Thanks for subbing. It says wow. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be life it really it really tells you that existence is peculiar. True. So much hypocrite. Kids, man. What's up, dog? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. You can't. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Sure. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Hey, what? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. Uh, I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Bonnet, I'm sorry. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. Uh. Come on. She definitely. I'm not responsible. <laughs> now it's time. So what exactly? I know Jeff. It's cop. I'm getting. Blah blah what? blah. Victoria. Not me. Wait, what did I? What? What's new? Huh? Hey, Dana. Better than... I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. You respond to the same but thing? you're the only one who went up to Well, up until now, there's been an extra dialogue option when that pops up. That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. True. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. 
I'm just over everything today. OMG, stop rewinding. It, something popped up in the top left, which tells me that there was more dialogue options after I talked for the first time. Hey, Dana. Better th I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how Stop bad. using the primary Must game mechanic. to throw yourself off the roof. <sighs> so why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. You... I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Like, who? Victoria? Not me. One more time. I don't want to tell her that I'm on it. Okay, hey, I, I guess I didn't get any new dialogue options. Come on. Now. So what? I know. It's calm. I'm getting. What? Victor. Not me. Okay. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, what? I act like a tough talker on everyone. I've never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. <laughs> Damn. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. What's so fucking funny? Oh, yeah, it was telling me that I could go through her shit. Okay, that makes sense. Since I've crossed the line from Snoopy, these socks cost more than my wardrobe. Wait, why did it turn black? I'll title this one. Portrait de la assholes. Nice fucking hat. Oh, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Those boots are made for walking runways. But up now. What's in the bag? The unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. True. Where's the proof? God damn it. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Time to hack into the system. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. So fucking cool, man. So fucking cool, dude. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. What, 30 Victoria's bucks? secret. She's a geek. Oh, is she a weeaboo? Cool. 30 bucks for a cashmere sweater? I mean, is that really that bad? Get paint out of it? <laughs> well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. I can even do homework after someone almost jumps off a roof. Can't be so alive. It's like watching a reality show. Never seen Kate so quiet. Blah, blah, blah. What trip that was? Say, seeing Max and Kate like that, I need a drink too. Let me know the time. XO sweet tea. Or. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid.
Did I miss anything? I want this. I want the Shoiden Fraud. Shoiden Freud. Shoiden Freud. Hold on. Stylo Albatross. You. Is it fair? Serious? Thank you for subbing. Cry over. Thank you for subbing. There's shit on her bed? Oh, you want me to shit on her bed? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. And it's time to amber turd on this bitch. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. I don't think... Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't think so. Got a blast. Well, time to go sneak out. Who's laughing? Want you to know where you're in our thoughts. Praying for a fast recovery. You guys are fucking shitheads. Fucking stupid fucking kids, man. Ice Mom, thanks for something. Good ending obliterated. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Wait. Squirrel of hell. Come here. Yeah, I get it. It's a squirrel. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Use my powers? Yeah. Hello, little friend. Care to join me? Look at the lens and say, nut. Gotcha. Guys, we're destroying the timeline, man. <laughs> For asinine reasons. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Dude, chill, man. Busy. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Pardon? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? Girl stuff. Nuts and bolts, <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. It's in the box. Nothing here. Something in here, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, you did this. But I don't think there is anything in here. I always feel like I'm missing shit now. Goodbye. Blind, what did I miss? What did I miss then? Didn't get the key? Guys. You know, I guess you could say at this particular moment, uh, things are a bit peculiar. Why is there a girl scarf in here? I already checked the drawers. Wing. 
Excuse me. Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast there. if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What a day. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? What? Stop rewinding, you son of a bitch! Set of keys on me. Max the ninja strikes again. Ah, gotcha. Now, why won't they fit? These keys are all broken. Or maybe it's me. Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, God. Come on, just try. What? Smigoo, thanks for seven. Tropical Penguin, thanks for seven. Can you please say Giga Sussy Pussy 2? Huge fan here, thanks. Giga Sussy Pussy 2. Booyah! Ah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like <laughs> a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. That's not true. Don't we knew exactly so what modest, to say. Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Except oh right, except for your ability to... <laughs> oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, <laughs> I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Chaos. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Control! Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Uh... We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it. Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. It's been I a while. You, it's been a while, like said, man. It's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Girl as long boss. As you're my partner in time. What do we need the keys here. for? Hella boss. Serial. 
Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Find what out? Bro, there's surveillance cameras, mofucker. Can you stop them from swearing? My son is watching. Sorry. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. Trespassing. We could Ooh. go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. True. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. It's snooping time. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Crappy girl boss. Why, why am I in here? Why do we suspect them of anything? There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Uh, okay. I don't think I missed anything. Found it. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. What does it mean, dog? Strange, don't you think? It does feel That's a little it. strange. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Where did you get that? Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Yeah, just shoot it open, dog. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. 
Hello? Crap. Boring. Boring. Dead end. Analog storage. Nothing here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Oh. Hey, Warren, you busy? Oh. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise <laughs> stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that- Gamer reference! Would say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Acrobats. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me. And thanks for the help. Is he actually gonna help us? This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. Anime reference. On. See you soon. Yeah, I didn't know that. Am I fucking stupid? Must be. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Nothing here. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Got one. Only three more items to go. Kill me. <laughs> Ew. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? Bathroom. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Poster. Maybe Kate started a revolution. They hate the Vortex Club now. They must not be poggers anymore. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. There's like 50 kids here. How do they have so many awards? Ow. Asking kids to give blood? Gross. I hate that formalin smell. What the fuck is formalin, dog? Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Nerd. Loser. Ooh, Nerd. Sugar. Nerd. Loser. You're halfway home, Max. Can't walk up that small ass step, huh? Cool. Guy is so in the friend zone right now, dog. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Why don't you pay attention in class then? I never said they were great, troll. I had sex with her mom. 
I never said they were great, troll. Max. I never said they were takes great. Takes shit troll. selfies. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. You would think that, uh. Good evening, fish fish. You would. This is bait. <laughs> Surely she knows better than to photograph a fish. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. No witnesses kill the fish. All right. No, this mixture doth not work. How do you know? Ow! You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chloride. Here's the sodium chloride box. Are you gonna you spill know it? You're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. So smart. Holy fuck. Only one more ingredient left. So fucking cool. Holy shit. Ew, gross. At least switch to e-cigs. <laughs> want the popcorn lung? Come on. Vape it up. It's the last thing I need, I fucking forget. God damn it. I don't, scroll up now. Duct tape. Hello? I can just go into every fucking classroom. This is like a scene in a horror film. I feel silly thinking of myself as an everyday hero for helping Kate. But it's cool that other people do. Now if I could only find Rachel. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. <laughs> Fired lol. <laughs> Don't care. Okay. Don't care. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. He drew you. I probably should find those items now. With your head getting cut off. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Duct tape now. Found it. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. I already fucking got the hint, you stupid the tape bitch. Is mine. Ruxival, but uh, Rux. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Hey, more duct tape. Found it. Gotta go. Should we turn off the fish lights? Why can't I open the door? So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Where's my locker at? Well, oh, don't care. Can I get back in? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bam Soul Topsy Mythic Thanks for something. Cool. Oh, time to make a bomb. El giggle. Pipe bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. When did yes. I make that? Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. Be stupid. Cool. Oh, 
we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Quickly, rob him. My camera turned so fucking slow. Hang on. Where's the fucking evidence? You can do this, you forgot? But... Hey, talk to her? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. <laughs> oh, bullshit! Fuck you, door! <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal <laughs> locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. I'm a teleporter, guys. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? What does that I'm mean? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Well, turn on. Kate file, search. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only a 3.9. Loser. Only two more files to go. Wait, how do you know that? I certainly... Can't use this. Stop flirting with that kid. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Can't respect that art? Really, dog? Look at this pile. Look at this pile. It says search, not look, dog. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Is anyone surprised? City of birth, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Florida kid. Popular with students and faculty. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. 2.8? What? Is there quiet? True. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 4.0. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Uh... Uh, 
closed. Yeah, he gave up. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Does little homework often leave willfully belligerent, cause numerous class disruption, spray painting graffiti in the parking lot, blah, 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 just a squander, okay. That's it? I think we found everything in here. I should go join. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason than the historical crest. It's an it's like Thursday's party is not gonna do so the can do spirit black will academy, blah blah blah. What a cunt. Fucking bitch. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. What? <laughs> Who cares, man? You're not so tacky up close. Playing RuneScape? Hmm? RuneScape 2007? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. Shit on the desk. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Uh. <laughs> Bright Engine, Tay Pappy, Lord Master Crow, Ishrak, thanks for subbing. Stealing from the. I haven't seen a single handicapped student, guys. All I'm saying. Did we steal from the disabled dude? <laughs> Bro, that's all I'm saying, dog. Because I can't get inside. <laughs> Deal. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. Thanks, we'll Nate. Thanks. Tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never why you, know. Why do you hang out with this chick, ma'am? I feel like shit for taking that money. Literally why, dude? Just bankrolled by a fucking rich family. They'll just give you more money, dog. 
That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. I We're really don't want to see and nobody busted them us. swimwear. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Hella, cereal, girl, boss. Ella, shut up. <laughs> I used to say hella. I used to say hella, dog. But now we've moved on to bigger and better things. Giga hella. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. Just you rewind. You own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go, Otters. There's nothing written on those things, it's just squigglies. Oh, I hope the Otters will survive. Don't care. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Don't care. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Don't care. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Hold Zach up. is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? What are you wearing just because the necklace and phone hot? What are you wearing in the locker room only where you're sitting on my football? <laughs> yep. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Why not? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? <laughs> Wait, isn't that for schizophrenia on the left there? Isn't that schizophrenia meds? That would make sense. They were kind of pushing him to be a schizophrenic. This must be Anxiety? for kids. E cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Wait, vaping is hipster? Since when? I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Yeah, no, I'm in a hole, but I still care about you. Love Logan. What? Boys' locker room is right. Victoria loves the D. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Max is a feminine. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. I love Warren Gay Ram. <laughs> this one is almost empty. The guys must. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. True. Huh? In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Up. Oh. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Drawer. Yes, we get it. Otters. Rescue dummy. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Switch. Oh, I don't want to switch it on yet. So the big plan is win. Nice. Baked botanist 
Baphomet, thanks for subbing, not botanist. Hello? Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Shut up. I'm running. Wait, I get to just go here. Victoria Chase rules. <laughs> this isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Ladies locker room. Dear Kate, I don't care. God. <laughs> well, we care, dickhead. I hope so, friend. God's pissed, bro. God's fucking pissed, man. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Good. Get him off of my back now. Where does that other sock go? Why'd my camera do that? Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Blech. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Who says you can't? You haven't tried yet. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels and towel his flippers in a swimming pool. Are they training Navy frogmen here? Hello. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. No, they're not. Also, her haircut's fucking stupid. The wit. It burns. Fringe cut. bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Wait, whose fucking locker is this? Oh. I'm on the road again. Blam, 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 blam. I don't know the lyrics to this song, but I'm trying to sing it right now. Miss Locker? Bro, you guys can't fuck with me like that, man, okay? Dude, what is the sensitivity, dog? It's either giga fast or hella slow. Hunter, thanks for subbing. Trinity, thanks for subbing. Very fucking cool. On the road again. Yo, what's good, dog? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. What sharks? A big ass fucking pool, there dog. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. I've seen how this episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark ends. Hello? Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. I don't want to see them and not close, guys. <laughs> Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. Yo, 2014 <laughs> water <laughs> physics. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. What about me? 
Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. I get it, Your man. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Okay. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And do you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay? I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the <laughs> smartest, most talented person Please I've ever known. Please no more. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. No, dude, like no, wine. man. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and dude. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Dead. Lol. Lol, dead, yeah, lol. Here. Because lol. we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Real human swimming. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Hi. Yell it out really loud. Hide! Watch out! Okay, if I go back over there, the guard will definitely bust me. Bro, why don't we just leave? Make sure you cover the whole room. Are you shitting me? Huh? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids! I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? No. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. scared me a little. <laughs> we are so invisible. 
seen oh, her in the damn. corner like that. Never consequences feels good, man. Run! Run! Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! I couldn't oh, this see is you. bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car! Get in! They can't hear you? <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. <laughs> Real human conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I do this shit as a kid? Stuff like this. I never broke into a school, though. Too dangerous. Holy shit, this is very real. I'm like my dogs. Man, it's a little strange, wouldn't you say? Always remember this moment. Everything that happened last night. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like Oop, it joke. needs another one. <laughs> I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Don't care. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come what? on, I don't want to see Arcadia huh? Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could I find mean, Rachel really and pay Frank long. off, I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I think writers didn't know what pimping really meant when they like wrote the script. I'm going to every day is a test. Group. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but Beat. I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, Beat. they keep turning. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> I still feel guilty for not busting... I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Root fest. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. True. At least give it a try. 
You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text nope. Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. I'm not rewinding, dude. <laughs> There's a hole in your shirt, ma'am. So wow. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Huh? At least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me and Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Gun. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. A butt rock. It's fucking hipster indie rock. I love this song. <laughs> the fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Condom. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. The only one that was there for me at school, the only one that truly cared. I have to leave you something to give me hope. You have given me that. My father's grateful as well. You've always been our private prayers. It's like when we were kids here. Not dead, poggers. Hello. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. I do not like this fucking shirt that we're wearing, guys. You gotta be giga honest. That bird's gonna die, bro. Where the thanks for subbing? Save the bird? Eh, he's fine, guys. Hello. Hello! Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancake. I'm dying for some of your famous Hunger. pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Grab them yourself. Eggs it's and your milk? fucking no job. Problema. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Where the fuck is the milk and the eggs if they're not in the fucking refrigerator? Now for the mother's milk. Ew. You think it's outside next to the, uh, outside mail? Outdoor mail? 
That is mayo. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. One for Rachel, one for me, one for my friend. I wonder how these birds died. Dead bird, dead bird. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Yep, global warming. Right. Right and real. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. Are you helping make pancakes? Sorry, I'm a moody teenager. I get easily distracted, guys. And Chloe is still trying to get her. Now she's into drugs. It's like a dare commercial. <laughs> I used to play on the swings with my friend, my best friend, but now she only wants to get high with weed. <laughs> Bro, where are your fucking eggs at, dog? Oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? Yeah. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Open the door. Now. Why do you have two fucking birds in your fucking house? More Lord of the Rings quotes? Yeah, I'm not so much of a nerd that I recognize those. Wait, the window's not open. I thought I thought it was fucking open, dude. Dude, I'm literally holding all the way to the left on my fucking controller to turn to like that. Sky turn red. Goodbye. That's cool. Goodbye. Dude, I... Dude, I have my window open right now, dude. No screen, okay? I do this often, because I don't live in Florida anymore, so there's not just, like, fucking mosquitoes and shit. I never get bugs in my room, as far as I'm aware. Never had a bird fly in. Yo. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Where the fuck? What are the eggs? Where? Who does this? <laughs> Who fucking does this? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wait. Teleported. <laughs> Without my power. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened. It's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but- She's fucking dead. <laughs> we're on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. The dark room. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. 
I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Oh. What? <laughs> no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. Oh, know, shut the fuck up, man. It seems man. like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. They keep you. bringing that shit up. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Wait, he's here? Polishing his guns? Some shit? Who drinks beer this early around here? Her mom. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. No one knows that you have giga power. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. Real human eating. <laughs> Why is she holding her fork like that? I'm glad See, that's creamy and not crunchy. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. He's going to jail. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. All right, Grandma. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. Wowzer. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and... I know, Joyce. Let's talk about dead I'm people sorry. some more. That's all we talk about. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. Every this conversation. This was, was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Is that barking in the game? Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Dude. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Jesus. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. Turns around. Takes 15 seconds to turn all the way around. 
I was looking for the password. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Okay, now I can look in shit. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I don't think so. Nope. The barking's in the game, guys, just so you know. Nothing to see here. Try right, Big Chungus. I think it's Big Chungus. Naturally, date. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 1776. Nothing in it. It just has a box of his her old husband's shit. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. Yeah, there is. We know the code. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. No way I'm fucking remembering that shit. I could try the license number for the password. Here Looks it like is. David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Nothing. Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Boomer moment. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Having you in the diner, nice to know the gentleman still exists. Love talking again soon, by the way, the name is Joyce. It might be a useful password. Probably this. La la la. La la la. I bet Oops. David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Sleeve six for something. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Ew. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Drugs? <laughs> Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Not even church. Drugs? This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Dude, what the fuck? I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just... Whoa. Instead of stalk, this is so wrong. Dude, log out. Oh, <laughs> log out. Bastard. Come on, man. Huh? I, I forgot who you existed. Jesus Christ, man. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? 
Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. <laughs> do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. How? Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He what are you gonna do? A loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Why the fuck would I side with that guy? Dude, what? <laughs> You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Kennedy and Game Devs were like, all right, a lot of Americans going to be playing this game. Make sure you throw in the service thing again. <laughs> so everyone remembers. Well, we was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Military moment. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. What do you want me to do, man? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. You understand? Who would feel bad for that guy? Ooh, can't wait for the bullshit twist at the end where it's like, this guy <laughs> was actually good the Max, whole time. Max, give me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Now I want to. Chills. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. Is that him? Yeah. Some of the Confederate flag hat. I can't hat. believe you hung out Neo with Neo Confederacy anymore. flag hat. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. I was not following. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Uh 
Uh. So proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down the roof with that girl. Dad's proud of me. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change? Please don't something? believe it. I'm Please a fisherman, don't believe it. no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Dude, give me some more ocean puns. Good morning. Don't it. Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? Where'd they go? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. Capitalism. But what about Capitalism Sorry, bad. Too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Toxic waste dumping in the fucking bay. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I did just want to see what happened, though. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? <laughs> How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. What? What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Leave. Select the plate now. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. No way this cop helps us. Dude, the fucking turning, man. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Irish Potato Bubblers, hostile Officer Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. Uh... I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first.
Hello. There she is. Super. Thanks. I'm glad. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame <laughs> you for getting face. extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Frank, Nathan, or Officer Barry. Hey, what's up, man? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public so with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Huh? Blood what oath? The fuck now. Blood oath. What can I do for you, Max? Blood oath? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. <laughs> He Military moment. Eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Damn, I really pissed him off. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. He's not going bald. He has a cool haircut, guys. Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you <laughs> want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> I have a 2.8. What's true? fuck now? Buy drugs. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. 
Oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. So mean. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. What the f- Hello. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh. uh how do you know about that? Huh? What photo? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. <laughs> Wait, she just fucking. What was that? Kidding me? Are you sh Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. I did that. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. I did that. Thanks, Max. I wish you could have helped me the other day when I got tagged by a football and toilet paper. Next time, I'll make sure you don't get hit. I wish I could. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. <laughs> you really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Wait, I could have helped her with the football? I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. Oops. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some Does more. Does anyone talk like this? You watched it happen, laughed, and then walked away? <laughs> True. I should have known. The amazing spider, Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Oh, time to get killed by a dog. On your mark, get set. Throw! I don't want to kill it. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. You hear the car go by? <laughs> Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. Ultra You're not a dead. creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. <laughs> Tol Kwan, thanks for subbing. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Stop. Bringing that up. Now. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Frank is almost a made-for-TV Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Just in case. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. 
Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Frank must spend Felony all distribution. his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. How can somebody live like this? This guy got a can of beans, went into the restaurant, and then started eating it cold, I think. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? That's What's wrong with that? Extreme lighter. For crack, dude. <laughs> it's for fucking crack. That's a crack. Is Frank lighter. going to deal online now? Ah, man, he's just trying to get clean, dog. Is a Sega Genesis controller cool, man? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's where the drugs are. No more secrets. Look. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Yeah, go cute of hell. Drugs? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Well, time to rob the drug dealer. This has never gone wrong in any fiction. <laughs> I'm sure this will be fine and he won't find out. Crappy Wi Fi out here. Let's take him. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Use crack torch? Oh. My blade will open any portal. Not very stealthy, bud. I will admit. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I hope you read this first thing the over last night. I was being a monstrous bitch, took it down on you, poor Pompado. Well, we're checking on my life, so I feel like I'm never going to get out of Katie Bay. Thank God for you. You're the best thing that I have here. Little strip away here from your heart. All right. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She, Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. Don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me. I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen the access way the last time. I, next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about us. So we need to break our routine. I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. Now. Astrology more like. Not real ology. I can't open that one anymore. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Huh? That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Blah, blah, blah. Why does everybody in my life let me down? Blah, my dad blah, gets blah. killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. What does the word glom Chloe, mean? Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe. Wah. Wah. Hey, that's her uh, stepdad. her stepdad's car chloe you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life it's so not fair i gotta blame somebody otherwise it's all my fault fuck that <laughs> uh grow up grow up god you're not the only one in arcadia bay with problems kate marsh almost yes kate marsh almost killed herself such sad okay that doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life get it so who do you most want to blame? 
My fucking dad, of course. Hello? <laughs> you blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No. No. Of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. <laughs> Anger moment. That was a strange conversation, wasn't it? Bye, bitch. Are we playing Life is Strange too? Man, I don't fucking know. I will say I'm interested to see how this ends, though. I think I played the first chapter of Life is Strange too. Oh my god. What is happening now? Wait, we're gonna use the Toon Force to go into the fucking... The Polaroid? Here we go. It's time to jump to this shit like what? Like fucking Roadrunner, dude. <laughs> Use L and R to focus the photo. Time travel moment. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, man. Newfangled computers in the this year 2006? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hands, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in crates? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years like old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. Crates. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. I love William. That's true. Like he was in my so own family. Don't you? I won't let him die say. today. Right. I like won't. Real... Now I get to take Let me picture. choose between him and Chloe. Take a pose. Make Please, me God. a star. Just make me look young. Cook here. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. You can see the bond between Chloe and her father. And the love. Now this is a fuck. Chloe is just so damn happy and care. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Nope. What? I didn't want to go this far back. Cook here. I am when your mom is away. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young.
We gotta take his car keys a bit. Oops. Where would his car keys be? What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Where are they, Billy? Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of Bro, course, I'll come pick you up. Where are they, man? I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Hello? Yeah, what if we just stab him? Can't go. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Oh. He's now. Careful, bitch. Max. Yeah, let's just blow his car up. <laughs> Yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Why would I hide them? Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the gonna hold jar. I'm going to hold on to it. You'll college fund. Keys, please. How long are you going to fucking mix this shit? <coughs> shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Whose keys do that? Uh, I was just, um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, uh, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. <laughs> and no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Well, Max. Wouldn't he not get right? into the car accident She's because we've stalled him for just a little that makes bit? All of us. Stop! You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Yep, this is the place. Easy. I know I had those keys right here. Well, I know time to it. destroy the universe. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joys and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Is he I dead anyway? This. Max, Go. you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome.
Bro. Well, it's not like I could opt out of doing that, right? Right? 